Good evening everyone, Sharon here with Create Miss Sharon and today I am going to show you how I made this card using the Painted Harvest stamp set and my Stamparatus of course. Um, just give me a second here, I'm just going to just, there we go, okay. 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 So we're gonna get started here. Quick and easy card. Um, definitely fall colors because so much are gone. I just can't believe that. I believe it's first September already. So sad. Summer is my favorite time of the year. But anyway, so let's get started. So how I'm going to do this is I'll just tell you what we have, what products I'm going to use, and we'll just go from there. So I have the Painted Harvest stamp set. I have my basket weave embossing holder. I'm going to use the DSP from the Regal 6x6 paper um, and cut it up. If I already cut it up. I'm going to use my Stamparatus. I've already placed the stamps, but I'll show you how I actually did that. And I have my um, Dark Cajun Craze a Blend. I have some linen thread. And I have pink, uh, sorry, pear pizzazz, Cajun craze ink, and along with my crushed curry. And then I have I have my one of my blender pens. I'm going to use one of the new products. Show you later with that one. So I have a piece of uh, very vanilla cardstock, which is cut at four by two and a half. And then I have a scrap piece, and then I have my designer series paper, which is cut at four by three and a half, or three, yeah, by three and a half. And then I have my uh, Cajun craze, which is four, five and a quarter by four, and then I have my cardstock, which is five and a half by, um, is it five and a half? Yeah, five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter. I'm going to just move everything out of the way. I think up here that I'm going to need. I'm just going to just fold this in half before we get started. Usually what I like to do with this is um, I usually score it with my scoring tool, but didn't do that today. So here we go. So I just scored that at half. Okay, so now I'm just going to just move everything out of the way. So I'm hoping you guys had a lovely um, Labor Day weekend. It's hard to believe that it's over. So I bought, I purchased these and I can't remember where I purchased them from, but um, that just makes my, um, this basically holds my piece so it's not right up against the corner. So then I'm gonna take the smaller of the two flowers. I'm just gonna just place it right there. Basically place it where you want it and bring in your stamparatus. And then it does move because the photopolymer for some reason the paper sticks to that. No look at that. Oh that I'm thank goodness I'm using so I'm gonna use bring in my um, crushed curry and just sink that up and just bring it in. Now I'm going to bring in this piece right here, take my separatus out, flip it around, and I'm going to basically pop this in something similar to that. Oops. There we go, and then the same thing. Put it into place, bring in your separatus down, bring your and then it just ink up here, ink, and there we go. And I'm just going to just turn this around. And then I'm going to ink this up again. 
This is going to overlap a bit, but that's okay. And then I'm going to just clean this up, turn it around, and ink it up again. And there we go. And I only have two, I have three on this, the other one, I have two on this one. I'm just, I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm just going to get that out, and I'm just going to bring in my centerpiece, and I used my crumb cake with that but i left that of course on the table so i'm just gonna grab that i'll be right back just working on a few things for my upcoming classes so i just want to remind you those that live in um, the winnipeg area that we are having our multi-demo bingo on the 22nd, no, sorry, 21st, which is the Saturday of September. We'd love to have you. The cost is $40. And you get a grab bag. You're going to do, I think, three make and takes. We have food. We have um, actually 10 games of bingo. How exciting, yes. Love bingos. Um, we're doing it at the United Church in Headingley. So if you're interested, just let me know. So I'm going to bring in my pear pizzazz, and then this little, um, looks like little eyes, and just put that, stamp that into the center of the, I'm just going to go around. I'm hoping you all had a good weekend. It's hard to believe that it's September the 1st. I have a hard time with that. I'm sorry. But I love my summer. I really didn't get much time in our pool this year because we went on holidays at the beginning of summer. Normally we go at the end. So that's this. The um the sunflowers. So I'm gonna just wait, where did I put my scrap piece of paper? Where's the base? Oh, that is right in front of my eyes. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my Cajun Craze ink and I'm gonna go I'm thankful for you and I'm just gonna stamp it on a scrap piece of paper that I have here. long we kind of started off crappy it was rain it was it was nice on Saturday. yeah it was nice on Saturday and then it rained yesterday and then it was so that's well it was okay today but it was really humid outside it was only, it's only like not even I think 20 today so I'm just gonna fuss oops I'm just gonna fussy cut this out because I don't want the whole thing on there you can do whatever you wish if you're going to duplicate this card and just take it all the way around and there we go so I am working on my cards class for the month of September which will be um, we're having the bingo on the 20 21st and I also have class on the Thir the second uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of every month. So if you're interested in coming to COD Club, sorry, Club, you're more than welcome. There is a commitment of $35 a month, and during the time frame of the the time frame of the club, you will become hostess, so you reap the rewards of being hostess. And if we have over nine people, I guarantee that you will receive a 50% off item. Yeah, so, like it says, if you're interested, just let me know. Um, we do, we, we did a soft, I guess a soft start on, in August, but the, oops, 
the real one begins in September and we're going to be doing using uh, one of the stamp sets from the new catalog the penguin one we're going to do a cute project using a candle and we're also going to be doing a card and a tag so so what I did is I just took this and just ran it through the basket weave um, embossing folder so now we're going to assemble this so I'm going to use my Tombow glue to glue the um, the basket weave down so just letting you know anybody that orders places an order using the hostess code right here and it's also in the description if you order a $35 or more product order I will send you a package of linen thread. Now I think this is a must in any, when you're doing your cards, just adding that little bit of something to, um, to your card. Now, if your order is over $200, please don't use that hostess code. Um, you take, take the hostess reward yourself. Okay, so. Just get that all on there like that and then I'm just going to just bring in the um, I did the the scripted on here so I think it's pretty very pretty and I'll just also glue that down so And just to also let you know on the 18th of Wednesday, September the 18th, I'm going to be up at the Family Resource Center and we're going to be doing a couple Halloween cards and a fall card up there. And it's called Cards for a Mission. So what I like to do when I go up there is I like to, um, everybody makes four cards and they get to keep three of them and then one of them they send over, um, the, uh, they send a bunch over to the everybody that's deployed because they don't have access to um, like a Canex or something in some of the places that they're at. So if they need a card, basically have to take it with them. This way it's sent over to um, the uh, commanding officer over there and then distributes them out to the members that are deployed. So one less thing they have to worry about while they're doing their duty outside the country. So I don't have to worry about that anymore because my husband's almost done. He's got 35 years in, but he's just waiting for his dental to be done and then he will be done also. So we're hoping that that will be the end of the year. And I don't know what I'm going to do with him at home all the time and I'm sure he'll find something he's gonna I have a craft room and he has his oops I'm not gonna do that he has his um oops sorry he has his workshop out in the garage so I'm gonna take this copper a little bit and this is in the new catalog I'm just gonna just add just a little bit of bling to this just take it all the way around very quickly and nice easy card to do and so take it around and I'm just using my um, my aqua marker you could use one of your um, blend blender pens to do this but I just find it up just a little bit more but to each his own like I says the girls that come to my class and just they don't follow I get rash so I don't get to see it but it's quite funny anyway so just yes and this way with with the, the gold I can sort of just hide a little my mess ups there okay so now I'm gonna bring in the sentiment and you also you've seen that I've actually put some dimensionals on the back of the hat. So I can't have a card without dimensionals. 
at least, at least two layers. If I don't, just people think I might be something wrong with me. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring in my rhinestones and my um, dark uh, Cajun craze blends. I'm just gonna just ink up the bling so it actually so the thing about the blends you can basically color just about anything with them. And I gotta love that. So I'm just gonna just pop these off. Oops, and just put them randomly on the card. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in my linen thread and my bow maker. Now, and I'm going to make myself a bow using the linen thread. So, you can see this, so this is how I do it. It's like I just take a piece at this end and just go how many loops you want. So I'm gonna do three in here, two, three. And then this, this piece right here, I'm just gonna take it, go over top and bring it down and then just tie, oops, bring it down and then just tie it off. Um, when I was first doing it, I had something in the center and it was just, it just got in the way, so I just removed it. And, but once you pull it tight, it's going to almost like be permanent. And just tie it, pull it really tight. And then you just pull it off and then just, just, and then just fluff it up just like that. And then I'm just going to add it. Oh, probably right here and of course I didn't bring in over my oh, I didn't turn my glue dot so I'll just take a little tiny bit of glue and just put it onto the back so like I said if you live in the Winnipeg area and you're interested in attending a multi demo Bingo, we would love to have you. It is on September the 21st. Um, just messenger me and I'll give you the de more details and um, how to save your spot, how you go about saving your spot. So, there we go. Two fall cards, which I really... Anyway. Um, the details, like what I use and everything, is going to be on my vlog about 8 o'clock tonight, so probably in about another 20 minutes, half an hour. That'll be everything be posted on my blog. Okay, I want to thank you so much for joining me, and you have a wonderful day. And to those that have kids going back to school tomorrow, happy Mother's Day, unless you're kindergarten. The little guy's going to kindergarten. I know that's going to be tough for you. So, anyway, so thanks for joining. Greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you next week. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.